America, it's time to take part in the ultimate investigation. This is I Can See Your Voice. Through a series of clues. Lip sync challenge. And without ever hearing them sing a note, could you identify bad singers? Think I can them. From good singers? In a night of heart-stopping performances, one contestant attempts to win $100,000. Okay, America, keep your notepads ready, because anything and everything might be a clue. Helped by a team of celebrity detectives. I'm very good at this game. They must analyze the clues to identify the bad singers. That mouth was doing too much. And in the end, it all comes down to one epic reveal. Helping tonight's contestant are Nisi Nash, Jay Farrow, Adrian Holton, Cheryl Hines, and music superstar Jordan Sparks. Get ready to play I Can See Your Voice, where spotting terrible talent can make you rich. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ken Jong. Good evening. Welcome to America's brand new guessing game. I can see your voice. <laughs> Helping tonight's contestant weed out the bad singers throughout this investigation is our glamorous panel of celebrity detectives. <laughs> Woo! Bring it on. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's meet tonight's contestant. Hoping to take home $100,000, meet Loretta <laughs> from Phoenix, Arizona. Hi, Loretta. Hi, how are you? Fantastic. Tell us about yourself, Miss Loretta. What do you do for a living? And let's say you got the $100,000. What would you do with it? Well, I'm a retired banker. Yeah. I was in banking for 25 years. Nice. And now I want to open up a daycare. A daycare? Oh. Yes. Yes. That's amazing. That's yes. like the best reason yes. to win. A, really? Yes. Before I was a banker, I did daycare, and I know a lot of people that are struggling, yeah. and they need daycare. Yeah. So I want to have the type of daycare that I can give out scholarships to struggling families and that's help awesome. them through this transition, and we can all work together. And that's amazing. Wow. I love it. If you win it and build that daycare, it will be called Ken Care, right? It'll no, be called that's Ken. Lo that's Lolly Land. Lolly Land. Lolly Land. Lolly that's Land. even better. Lolly Land. That's even yeah. better. Yeah. I love yes. that. Yeah, but all thought yes. of. We are all rooting for you. All right, Loretta? Waiting in the shadows are six secret voices, all claiming to be incredible singers. However, some of them, and with all due respect, are so bad, they should be arrested for ear crimes. <laughs> but pay attention. The good singers will be telling the truth, but the bad singers could be lying about anything. You have to find and eliminate the bad singers who are trying to fool you. So let's get the investigation going and reveal those secret voices. Number one, it's the scuba diver. This marine biologist recently signed with a major talent agency at 58. She might be telling the truth. She might be a scuba that loves to sing. Number two, it's the flautist. This multi-instrumentalist is aiming to combine her two loves, playing flute and singing. She seems like the real deal. Really? Number three, it's the heartthrob. This singer-model sang backup vocals on the last two Justin Bieber albums. Like, yo, if I was Justin Bieber, I'd put all ugly people around because I'm gonna look better, so I don't think so. Number four, it's G.I. Jane. She has traveled the world as a member of a military choir. The vibe is not there. Number five, it's the singing server. He has been dishing out the hits since he was 12 and performed in a barbershop quartet. I have been to some really cool restaurants that have singing servers. Number six, it's the auditor. When she isn't checking the books, she's opening up for the likes of Jesse McCartney. I think she can blow. Oh, yeah. Here are the rules. Okay. There are six 
secret voices up on that stage, but you'll never know exactly how many good or how many bad singers there will be. Your job is to use clues to eliminate all the bad singers. For each bad singer you eliminate, you will earn $10,000. Yeah. By the end of the show, you want to have eliminated all the bad singers, so the last one standing is a good singer. Why? Because if they're a good singer, you could win $100,000. Let's get into the investigation with our first three-way lip sync challenge. Yeah. Just so you know, all of our good singers will be lip syncing to their own voices, but pay attention because all the bad singers will be lip syncing to someone else's good voice. See if you can tell which is which. Okay. Get ready for lip sync challenge number one singing Cheap Thrills by Sia. It's the scuba diver, the flautist, and the heartthrob. Yay! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I can tell. for the heartthrob right there. Loretta, what do you think? I'm confused now. Well, <laughs> mm, well, you're not alone. You get help from our panel of celebrity detectives. So panel, what do you spot? First of all, Loretta, stick with me because okay. I got this. Okay. I am I'm Eagle sure you do. Eye Nash. Oh, right now. okay. Eagle Eye Nash. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna say that I really believe uh, the flautist. I really thought she nailed it. I can't play any instruments, that's just not my ministry, but <laughs> um, I just didn't feel like her fingers were moving and I just questioned if she really is a flautist and if she's not, then there's more lies there. Mm. Yeah. But, but by the way, the heartthrob, I loved. Because I think that's the way he sounds. That's how I imagine him to sound. And Damn, had, are you crazy? Uh, what? That's just not the vocal I hear for a background he had for Justin good moves. Bieber. He's, a, he's a, clearly a performer. Am I nuts? I disagree, because uh, even though the voice so beautiful at the end, the man looked like when he opened his mouth, he's like, hey, everybody. I don't know if you sound <laughs> like that, but far as a scuba diver, that does sound like her voice, and out of all the performances, it seemed like she was the one, it, it melded with her the most. Her voice. I agree with that comment, but mine is a little bit different. The confidence she had as soon as the song started, like she knew what she was doing. She's a good singer. And Heartthrob, thank you for looking at me. That was so lovely. I really, en I, I enjoyed that. But I, I think Heartthrob, I'm still, the jury's still out on Heartthrob for me. So Heartthrob is I bad! <laughs> <laughs> All right, remember, bad is good, good is bad. We're here to eliminate a bad singer. It's time to make a decision. All right, in front of you, 
you will see each secret voice's name and number. So tap on the one you want to eliminate, then lock it in. I'm going to say the scuba diver. I think I'm going to keep her for a minute because you know what? I know she has a strong voice inside of her because if she can scuba dive, she has lung capacity. At the flautist, I think she did too well for trying to impress me to make me feel like she's a singer because the way she grabbed that mic, I was like, she practiced that for a long time. It's very true. Yeah, heartthrob, he's not giving me enough. He doesn't seem like he is used to a performance. I'm going with my gut. I'm going to eliminate and say that the bad singer is heartthrob. OK, then lock it in. Locked in. Heartthrob, from one to another, get ready, because you're about to perform for us and show us what you've been hiding. Now, Loretta. Have you identified a bad singer and made a cool 10 grand? I think so. Or I think so. Or a good singer and won nothing. I think I identified the bad singer. All and right. Won. Heart throb. Let's see, see your voice! Please be bad. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You still say he can't sing? He can't. I'm getting a little nervous. Take a deep breath. I need him to sound so bad. Oh, 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 and I was like, baby, 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 oh, baby, 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 no. That was dope, as in, like, stupid. I killed it, right? No, no, yeah, you killed it, like, the whole art form of music. That was horrible, which was amazing for Loretta, because she won $10,000! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you, Heartthrob! <laughs> you were horrible. What made you decide to do the show? Uh, my dad is a really busy man, so I just kind of wanted to give him an opportunity to see me while I live in L.A. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Give it up for the Heartthrob! After the break, we'll be getting a closer look at our next batch of secret voices and hopefully earning Loretta $100,000. Yes, 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 yes. Don't go anywhere. This is I Can See Your Voice, only on Fox. I just want to point out that I knew it. You knew it. Yes, yes, yes. I thank you, too. Welcome back to I Can See Your Voice, the only show where spotting terrible talent can make you really rich. <laughs> Loretta, before the break, you eliminated the heartthrob and won $10,000. I did, yes I did. Remember, your goal is to find as many bad singers as you can, because if the last one standing is good, you could win $100,000. Well, it is time for our second lip sync challenge. Performing Dancing in the Street by Martha Reeves. Give it up for G.I. Jane, the singing server, and the auditor.
job. Can we talk about the auditor for yes, one second? Please. She had that mic a thousand miles yes, away from her mouth. She did. Is that because she's powerful yep. and knows that she normally has to do that? Yep. Or is that because she's inexperienced? The mic thing did throw me off, but I felt like she had more confidence in what she was doing, I guess, so she could be a good singer. Now, it got weird with G.I. Jane, specifically in one part where there was a run, and the mouth didn't match what that run should be doing. I absolutely agree. It was well, she, was, she did that run on street. Yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. I'm gonna say, singer server. It was his eye movement, man. It was so precise and da da da. I was like, yo, dog, this might be his voice for real. Mm, like, yeah. like, I don't yeah. know. Because he was singing with his face. Yes. He, he was, was singing just... with his face. I actually don't think he can sing. You really? I felt like the other two were so comfortable and they were. They, they were good performers. Yes. And I feel like the singing server, he wasn't feeling the music like G.I. Jane was feeling the music. Okay. I think G.I. Jane can sing, because I'm going to yeah. tell you. Why. Same. You got a hard shell on the outside, but on the inside, I bet she got the softest voice because she got the hardest looks right now. Okay. So it is time to make a decision. The singing server, I think he could be a good singer, but he's really holding everything back because then we'll be able to peep that he can sing. The auditor, I see a gospel singer, but that means that maybe she doesn't go any further than the church. The one that I'm thinking cannot sing is G.I. Jane. She's real good with the movement, but I just don't think she can sing. Yeah, I'm just saying, do you didn't see the confidence she had in that military walk off, off the know, thing? I know, but- Jay Farrell, you saying. wrong. Loretta, you right. Okay, so don't listen to me then. I ain't here, I ain't here. So, so what is your choice? The elimination will be for G.I. Jane because I think she is a bad singer. Lock it in. Locking it in. So Loretta, yes. have you correctly identified a bad singer and made yourself another $10,000? My gut tells me I'm right. G.I. Jane, let's see hey. your voice! Jane, what ranking are you? Sergeant First Class. Wow. Oh, wow. What made you decide to do the show? I felt I had the stamina to get up here and sing, even though I can't. <laughs> Give it up for G.I. Jane. Yeah, Thank yeah, you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Loretta, you've eliminated two bad singers yes, and I zero did. good singers, bringing your total to $20,000. $20, yes, yes, yes. But you still have four remaining secret voices left to choose from. You want answers, I want answers, and let's get them after the break. Keep it locked here, America, till I can see your voice. Welcome back to I Can See Your Voice, the show which asks whether you can tell good singers from bad without ever hearing them sing. Loretta, you still have four remaining secret voices left to choose from. Remember, your goal is to eliminate as many bad singers as you can, because if the last one standing is a good one, you could win $100,000. I'm good at it. And in order to reveal more clues about our remaining secret voices, I have stolen their phones. But you only get to peek inside one. So let's play Unlock My Life! Hello! Unlock My Life, okay. So Loretta, 
What you will see is a secret voice revealing pieces of vital information about themselves, all with their voice slightly altered. Okay. Who do you want to hear from? Scuba Diver, I know she has to have a voice. Flautis, she seems to be musically inclined. The Auditor, she doesn't give me that vibe that she's able to sing, but the one that's a mystery to me is the singing server. I want to see what's going on. Okay, America, keep your eyes peeled because anything and everything might be a clue. Now remember, the good singers will be telling the truth, but the bad singers could be lying about anything. Let's find out what the singing server is all about. I moved to LA after college to pursue acting and musical theater full time. Oh, singing server. My parents really wanted me to find a focus and a passion growing up, and so they signed us up for piano, acting, and musical theater, which is my true passion. Told you, musical theater. I'm working as a server full time, which is super flexible with my auditions. I believe him. And the customers love it when I sing. There was a really quick clip of his hand placement on the piano. He was playing like this over here. If you know how to play, you know how to play both sides of the piano. I believe that. Mm -hmm. He took a baby picture with a piano. Like, I was gonna say, but yeah. You're not just gonna take a picture with an instrument when you're young unless you about that life. From the moment we heard his voice in the lip sync challenge, I said, oh my gosh, he loves musical theater. So just hearing him say, say that, that in the package definitely confirms what we thought. It makes yep. perfect sense. Yep. The one thing that's sort of strange to me, why would you move to Los Angeles to be in musicals? Because LA is not really known for their live shows. Good. Cheryl. Thanks for bringing the confusion. I know. I know. That just kind of. Now I'm confused. Are you confused enough to change your mind? He's still a wild card for still me. A I, would, wild I card? would still keep him. I would still keep him. Loretta, it's time to make a decision. I'm going to keep the singing server because he mentioned that he was raised in music. So that means that nine times out of ten, he can sing. And I'm going to keep the scuba diver as well as Flatus. And I think that the auditor is a bad singer because for the lip sync, I didn't see singer in that. Auditor, she is a bad singer. Locked in. I hope I'm right. Auditor, let's see your voice! Bring it badly. Yes. Oh. Uh oh. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh my goodness. Yeah, is it true you opened up for Jesse McCartney? I did open for him for one of his shows, yes. Oh, yeah. Can. Wow. How was that experience? It was insane. I won a competition and they were like, you're opening for Jesse McCartney. It was so great. I was like, <laughs> give it up for the auditor. Loretta, Ooh. you missed out on $10,000. Oh You're still keeping your total at $20,000. Still yeah. good. There's a lot of show left, so don't go anywhere. This is I Can See Your Boy. Welcome back to I Can See Your Voice, and we're getting closer to crunch time. 
Loretta, you have now eliminated two bad singers and one good singer, leaving you with three remaining secret voices to choose from. The scuba diver, the flautist, and the singing server. None of us know how many are good and how many are bad. So you still need to tread carefully now if you're gonna end up with a good singer at the end and win that $100,000. Okay. Now, I'm gonna give you the chance to hear one of those singers with a slight catch. Let's play Secret Studio. <laughs> Under total secrecy. All of our secret voices have pre-recorded their very own demo tape in our secret studio. Only their voices have been altered by our world-famous vocal manipulation device. Who would you like to see go into the secret studio? It's gonna be Scuba Diver because she is such a mystery and she won't hardly move, she won't hardly do too much, so I need to see something that she's done. What about the flautist? or the singing server. No, I want to see Scuba Diver. <laughs> she knows. She knows what she wants. That's right, girl. She's a woman that knows exactly what she wants. <laughs> Loretta, panel, while the pitch of their voices will be altered, there will still be plenty of clues to look out for, so pay attention. It is the Scuba Diver. an intense, that was emotional intense. journey. I'm confused. She had no um, consideration for the microphone or how far away she was. She was just like, <laughs> It sounds exactly like your voice yeah. in real time. It really does. No offense. But I mean, if we didn't learn anything from that last round, some people don't need to be close to the mic. Huh. I heard on the, the high note when she goes, build this city and her voice kind of cracked a little bit, so yeah. I'm leaning towards she's not a good singer. Okay. Uh, listening to her sing the first round and hearing it now, I think, I think you can sing. It is time to make a decision, Loretta. And remember, you can eliminate any of the three secret voices still up there. Who is the bad singer? I'm gonna keep the singing server. He was raised in music. I can feel it, he's musically inclined. And I'm gonna keep Flatus. I get a singer vibe from her. So I'm gonna eliminate Scuba Diver. When I was watching her there on the secret studio, her mouth expressions didn't say singer to me. I think Scuba Diver is a bad singer. Locked in. Loretta, you got this right, and pick the bad singer. You'll pocket another $10,000. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, scuba diver, let's see your voice! She bought it. Because you were awful! Scuba <laughs> Diver, you yes! just won Loretta $10,000! Yes, yes, yes. Bring your total to $30,000! Yes, 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 yes! Was any of that true? Are, are you a scuba diver? Yes. So, scuba diver, also a marine biologist. Wow. Uh, but it's also true, I did sign with the Major Talent Agency at 58. It's just for dancing. Oh, yes! I, I, oh. I knew she get, when she did that little. Bada. Please give it up for the scuba diver. There are only two 
secret voices left in the game. Ooh. Loretta's next elimination is the most important one yet. Stay right where you are. This is I Can See Your Voice, only on Fox. Welcome back to I Can See Your Voice. Loretta, you have now eliminated three bad singers and one good singer. You only have two secret voices remaining. They both could be good, they both could be bad, or it could be one of each. We just don't know. <laughs> Bottom line, if there's a bad one up there, you need to get rid of them now. Which brings us to our final challenge. Interrogation. Gation, 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 gation. You're about to get the opportunity to grill either one of our remaining secret voices, the flautist or the singing server, and hear their unaltered voice for the first time. You'll get 30 seconds to ask them whatever you want, but then you have to eliminate one of them. Okay. Loretta, who do you want to interrogate? Well, the singing server is something about a vibe within me that's telling me that he can sing. So I'm going to interrogate Flautis. It's a hidden gem there, and I need her to bring it out so that I can get some questions answered to see if I'm on the right track. The Flautist, prepare yourself. Your 30 seconds starts in three, two, one, go. Flautist, who do people say you sing like? Mariah Carey. Oh. How did you get involved into music? My mother taught me how to play the flute. Okay. Um, what, were your, what, who, what were your biggest fears getting into the music industry? That I wouldn't have the right look. Okay. How do you uh, pump yourself up to get ready for a performance? I make jokes and act like it's not happening. Panel, what are your thoughts, Eagle Eye? You asked her who did people say she sounds like. Girl, you know you lied. You don't sound like no <laughs> great girl Mariah Carey. I don't believe that. Now you stop it. And the voice we heard in the lip sync battle didn't sound like Mariah Carey. Do not allow the wrong answers yeah. that she's giving you to some of your stuff to throw you off. Okay. She's a good singer, man. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right. Okay. okay. All right. What you saying? Was it that people say she sounded like Mariah Carey or she thinks she sounds like Mariah Carey? No, she said people. people. She said people. Oh, yeah, people. people. That's a little different than I sound like Mariah Carey. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. People yeah. say I sound like Will Smith. I don't hear it. Really? Thank you, man, because I don't sound like Will Smith. Right. I right. never do, I don't, unless I don't... I'm trying it. Right. Yeah. All jokes aside, we want Loretta to win that $100,000, so you. we want to find the bad singer. Bad is good. Good is bad. It's time to make a decision. Who do you think is the bad singer? The flautist or the singing server? I think the singing server is a good singer because I think that there's a huge voice inside of him. I think Flautis, people say that she sings like Mariah Carey. Them is some big shoes to fill and I find that hard to believe. Oh. Okay, so you've made your decision? I've made my final decision. I'm going to eliminate Flautis. Okay, locking it in. <laughs> I'm stressed. Ooh. That means Singing Server will be going through to the finale where you're about to do it with the actual Jordan Sparks. Woo! So get your tables ready. Flautist, let's see your voice. Guys, I think she can sing. She can't. No? No, she can't. Oh no, she gonna get it. She cannot play the piano. Okay, she can play.
got feelings because she was giving Mariah Carey range. I would agree with that as well. <laughs> Loretta, you missed out on ten thousand yes, dollars, but did. your total is still thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. <laughs> the flautist, you stumped us all. Who are you really? I am a singer, professional singer, and I am a flautist as well. <laughs> Please give it up for the flautist. Thank you. All right, Loretta, we're down to our last secret voice. And if you have successfully eliminated all of the bad singers, and if the singing server is a good singer, you could be taking home $100,000. Yes, but I let's can. soak it in That's for just a second. That's what I need. Okay. But first, it all comes down to one huge decision. You want to risk it all? for the chance to win $100,000, which we will get to after the break. Don't go anywhere. This is I Can See Your Voice. Welcome back to I Can See Your Voice. We're down to our last secret voice, the singing server. It is time, Loretta, to make your biggest decision of all. All game long, you've been trying to find and eliminate the bad singers so that a good singer is left standing up there to duet with the incredible Jordan Sparks. And so now, for the first time in the game, you are hoping singing server is a good singer. Yes, indeed I am. But here's the decision you have to make. Loretta, you can either walk away with the $30,000 and be cool with it, mm -hmm. game over, yeah. or you can play on for one final round, our grand finale. And if Singing Server turns out to be a good singer, your winnings will shoot up to $100,000. Yes, yes, that's what I want. However, if you get it wrong, and Singing Server turns out to be a bad singer, you will go home with nothing. Panel, do you think this is a good or bad singer? I have doubts about him. We saw the piano in his room, but what if he's just a pianist and doesn't sing? Going for the big money is a good idea. Maybe he can sing and people don't think he can. So he's like a secret weapon in the vocal. Okay. I'm telling you, I just want to say that could, there's some deflections in this game mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Yo, I hope you can sing too. This round is really tough for me, actually. The singing server is still my wild card. Uh -huh. We did hear his voice, although it was tuned up. I, I don't know either way. Okay. You can change people's lives with $30,000. You can do so much in it. But we saw throwback pictures of him as a child with a piano. That seemed to all make sense. So I am just hoping for you, Loretta, that he really can sing. So Loretta, if you play on for the $100,000, mm -hmm. lock it in. If you don't, you're welcome to walk away now with the $30,000. I'm the type that'll go all the way to the end no matter what. So, thank you, but no thank you. I'm gonna stay and get the 100. Is that your final That's decision? That's my final decision. Locked in. <laughs> Risk taker, come on. So, Jordan Sparks, please go and join Singing Server on the stage. Singing No Air. Please put all your hands together for Jordan Sparks and Singing Server. Let's see if you made the right choice. If I should die before I wake, it's cause you took my breath away. Losing you is like living in a world with no end. Whenever you ain't there, it's no air, no air, no air, no air, no air. 
just can't breathe. No oh. Loretta, I am so sorry. Singing server pulled the wool over all of our eyes. Oh, I, you've lost all your money. That's but okay. You have been the most amazing contestant Thank you. Thank ever. You. Give it up for Loretta. You will one day get your lolly land. I will. I believe that in this universe, good things always happen. Always, always happen. I believe that too. Thank you. Thank you for your spirit. You're welcome. Thank you. I want to thank Cheryl Hines. I want to thank Niecy Nash, Adrian Houghton, Jay Farrow, and of course, the vivacious, the talented, the lovely Jordan Sparks. Thank you for watching. Good night.